Hello, good morning. You're with Newsround on today's show. We meet Germany's brand new polar bear twins. The brand new dinosaur discovery that looks like a giant chicken. And coming up later, I'll be speaking to the world's most connected man. This morning on Newsround, we've been showing you the very latest bits of wearable technology. We've been showing you the clothes that assess your fitness to things like waterproof smart watches. I got my hands on some of these gadgets at the Wearable Tech Show in London. That's where I met Chris Dancy. He uses between 300 and 700 systems at a time to monitor everything from his heartbeat to his sleep patterns. I'm with Chris Dancy now. He is said to be the most connected man on planet Earth. Chris, what does that mean? Wow, um, I've been for about five years wearing lots of computers, you know, really small ones and sometimes really obvious ones and sometimes ones that aren't so obvious and collecting my life and all the information around it. Sometimes it helps me remember things and sometimes it just tells me important things like where I need to be or where my friends are. And you said you've got something on you right now which is monitoring your heartbeat. Yes. You're taking photos as we speak during this interview. Every few seconds. And it's also detecting how fast you're walking. Yes, and then I'm wearing a, a belt that tells me if I'm sitting up straight. So the devices I wear on my body and the devices at my home, they create what I call the inner net. So not the internet where we go look up websites and stuff, but it's a website of information just about me. What about the next step? I think we're just two or three years away for some of this stuff getting better. Though I think it's going to be very natural in the next five to ten years for people just to be part machine. And you know, for kids today, they can look forward to a world where everything around them is smart, but more importantly, the information they create, how they're feeling, talks to those objects, whether they be toys or movies, and changes them in real time so that they can experience them in new ways. What an interesting man, right? Sport now and Robin Van 